Alright guys, welcome back to Tom Mods Things. Uh, on this episode today we are going to be taking our Max Power Corsa B and we're going to be cutting all of the body panels off of it and uh, prepping it ready for uh, taking everything and putting it onto a new shell. Alright, so those of you that followed the uh, previous episode will have seen that uh, this car is completely rotten, way too gone for um, uh, what we need for basically bringing this car back to life with uh, kind of all the sills being uh, completely rotten, all of the mounting points for the um, uh, lower arms all being basically destroyed and the rear and stuff etc etc go back on that video um, if you want to see the extent of that but today what we're going to be doing because this car has kind of everything bonded in to the uh, the main body panels and obviously all the rest of the kit including the rear which has started to come away anyway uh, we are basically going to be cutting and you can see there the rear bumper molded into the uh, rear arches so we're going to be cutting everything off of this car to basically reveal the extent of all the damage that's underneath and basically getting this all prepped ready to take all of this stuff including the bits over here and then dump it onto a new Corsa B so that we can replicate this exact car again so it lives on um, but unfortunately this shell's just way too far gone so um, it's going to basically just go off to scrap uh, we'll see if anyone wants roof cuts or any other cuts from the uh, bits that are okay today uh, but uh, other than that it's just going to be stripped and then uh, basically sent on its way so yeah so uh, first things first we've got our tools of choice uh, basically dremel angle grinder hammer chisel and uh, yeah this is probably the last time that we see it like this so let's crack on Right, so gradually getting there at the moment. Uh, the thing we're coming up against is it's definitely been bonded on with some sealant, so that is the bit that's kind of sticking it to it at the moment. But uh, what we can see is the sort of remnants of uh, kind of the hole. So this is another hole through the sill. So obviously the rust has come all the way up to this point here. So all of this section of um, the sill would have had to have been removed. Um, but we'll be able to see the extent of that as soon as this comes off, which we'll hopefully get to in a sec. Right, and then onto the back. Literally, you haven't done anything, but the whole thing is just basically pulled away from the car. Um, so the next up is what we're going to do is uh, where this is blended into one into the other. Uh, we're taking the bumper that is actually going to be going on this car. Uh, we're going to kind of guesstimate where this line should be, kind of based on here, and make a cut all the way around here to kind of trim this whole section, which has managed to all come off in one. Uh, so we can take that whole thing off the car. And then we can also then separate the rear bumper from it. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, not looking great, is it? Right, there we go, all in one piece. Uh, basically uncovering uh, all of this goodness uh, that lays within. I think this uh, bumper cut was pretty spot on though, look at this. So uh, there's the screw hole that, that fits this bumper on. Made the incision, just eyeballed it from this one. Maybe added a little bit too much onto the uh, the fenders themselves, but actually that's not too bad. Um, at least from what it looks like, they actually backed it with uh, 
supplements in there some actual mesh to uh, to actually create a bit of strength in between the joints so I mean they did a reasonable job on that um, when they originally built this which is cool uh, what it does mean hopefully is that we can undo these kind of pry this rear bumper away as soon as we've done the other side which is cool so yeah so happy that this all came off in one obviously it's collected a load of rust um, in the meantime and we've got a lot of tidying up to do all around the edges before we even attempt to fit this onto another car uh, we basically just need to clean everything up to make sure that it's all good uh, there's lots of gooiness and loveliness kind of all sat in there um, and it's kind of cracked in certain places as well so we're probably just going to get some uh, new glass and basically build up all of the inside of this uh, basically just to make it uh, sort of that bit better it looks like actually they bonded it to the original um, so it looks like this this one here is like an original maybe um, it's like an inner skin but that's also fiberglass so it kind of uh, not too sure really doesn't make a huge amount of sense why you'd have it double skinned like that um, unless they wanted like a double wide body and then just thought I'll oh, screw it we'll just stick another one over the top rather than make one bigger um, which I mean yeah fair enough they could have done that um, so yeah so we're going to move this get it somewhere safe so that we can um, keep it out of the way and then we're going to crack on with the rest of it right so actually we've made the cut on the other side and the bumper is now loose so we're going to undo these fixings across the top and then in theory this whole rear end should come off all right and there we go second side fully off as well uh exactly the same really as the other side the seal's looking a little bit better on this one but equally also not as we can see there nice big hole so uh yeah as i said previously and as we well know with the other episode uh this uh, shell is completely rotten so uh definitely the case that we will be uh reshelling this and putting on a new car so uh bits that we've taken off at the moment so we've got both side bits all in one piece which is really cool taking our rear bumper off uh, unveiling kind of this aspect as we uh saw previously yeah <laughs> it's just no saving this is there really not with the uh effort and stuff that it's going to take to actually get all of these bits uh sorted uh it's just not worth it uh so next shall it all right taking the headlights out i thought this was quite funny a bit of waterproof duct tape over the uh connectors <laughs> standard right let's get rid of this and get these out Right, rear wing off, uh, tucked in over here. Looks like it's actually got some LEDs uh, sitting on this left and right hand side, which is interesting. Um, and then the main mounting point, which is just sat under here. I've also got the headlights out. One of them is considerably better than the other one. Uh, this particular one is pretty screwed, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff missing, a lot of corrosion. This one's not too bad. We'll see if we can tidy them up and we can get them to work. But if not, we're gonna need new headlights. Uh, but the main aim for this episode was to remove the body kit as much as possible and the lights and stuff, which see we have definitely done so uh right and the car's looking a little bit sorry for itself at the moment uh so we've removed sort of a reasonable amount of stuff at the moment all the main stuff um we've got to crack on really with the uh, remaining stuff which is obviously all of the interior we're going to get rid of all of the rubbers and stuff uh just in case they can be reused because actually these are in sort of reasonable condition even though they definitely need a little bit of moisture added in um but if we can save those i believe these course would be rear sort of window rubbers are actually quite sought after if they're in good condition so we'll try and keep hold of those just as spares same with all the window trims and stuff as well we'll take literally everything off of this car stay tuned for uh, more content as we delve a little bit deeper into this car we've got to get ourselves an engine crane because i do not have one and i've not taken an engine fully out of the car before so this will be the first one which will be an interesting one um so yeah stay tuned for more content subscribe if you haven't and uh, i'll see you on the next one see you later